Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. I have new videos every week, usually Tuesdays at noon. This one is at a different time. Sometimes that happens because it's launch season, you guys. This video is going to feature Ashley Shelley's entire launch along with my 2024 collab planner with Ashley Shelley. I can't wait to talk about this. The cover is completely different than any other year's collab we've ever done. We're gonna go through everything in detail. She has a new vertical planner out. We're gonna go through that. She has her same horizontal layout, her same daily from last year. I also have one of her budget notebooks and her notebook besties with this beautiful new design. We're gonna talk all about it, what you get with Ashley Shelley. Her launch day is tomorrow, September 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I will say this when I get to talk about the monthly planner collab. She only orders, you know, a small amount of the collab. She's a small company and she's doing this collab planner with me. This year there is another collab with Simply Gilded also. So that is really exciting because her monthly planners always sell out, but the collabs sell out the fastest because she just you know orders a small amount of the collab based on how many subscribers and followers I have and how many people ticked the little poll box that they were gonna plan to buy. And she bases her numbers on that. So if you do want my collab planner, and I so appreciate the support, I don't want anyone to buy one though that isn't gonna actually want to use it, but I love when you guys buy them and use them and show me how you use them and how much you love them because you guys know I use my own collab planner all year long, and if you're new here, I will give a short peek into it, but it is just instead of a monthly calendar on the wall, but so many people use this also for meal planning or for budgeting. I also use a separate one to keep track of my son's Invisalign. I've also kept a separate one as a countdown now that it's gotten closer to my son coming home for his mission, October 6th. So these are so handy to have on hand because like I didn't know I was gonna need to use one for my son's Invisalign this year. I just randomly had it when he started Invisalign and was like, this is perfect, this is what I need. And the same with my son's countdown. So I think these little monthly notebook planners come in handy for so many things. I've also heard about them for tracking weight loss and fitness goals. They're just, they're really great. I get to have a say in the cover on mine and in the monthly colors. Well, we'll get into those details. So that is what is gonna be in this video. I am so excited to share all of Ashley's products. Of course, I'm always the most excited for my collab. I have a Patreon. And if you are at the $8 tier level, you get extra monthly videos that are really personal and Zoom calls. And those are all recorded and up there in case you can't come and you can view all past months when you join. I'm sharing that right now because I gave an in-depth look more than I'm gonna be able to show you in this video and a whole bunch of behind the scene details and all my personal thoughts in, on the back end of this monthly collab planner. All that is up on my Patreon if you are interested in seeing that. That link is always down in the description. There is no commitment. You just sign up one month at a time and stay as long as you want and leave whenever you want. So that is up there right now. I got to share that several weeks early with my patrons and that was super fun. We are gonna jump in. I just wanna show you a few covers I have from Ashley. This is the daily. We're gonna go into all these, but we are gonna do the monthly planners first. This is her weekly horizontal. And then we have her new, brand new weekly vertical layout. I think a lot of people are gonna be excited about this one. We're gonna go all into that one. We will do a quick look at her monthly notebook budget planner, which I think was her very first product ever. And it's just a really simple way to keep track of budgeting. I really like the simplicity of it. And then her little notebook bestie, look how cute that is. She has some muted stickers this week. Your planner comes with colorful stickers. We're gonna get into all that. I do not have a discount code at this time for Ashley Shelley. So I'm guessing she's not you know, having any codes at launch time. I do have an affiliate link. And if you purchase anything from Ashley Shelley and my content has helped you, I would be so grateful if you clicked through to her website from my affiliate link down here in the video. If you click through, the website looks the exact same. You sign into your account still, but I get credit for your sale. It shows her that I brought you to her. 
and I also make a small percentage of the sales. So I'm really grateful when you use my affiliate links when you shop. That is a huge way that I keep this channel going. All right, let's jump into the monthly notebook planners. So Ashley also makes monthly notebook planners. We're gonna talk about the differences in the colors inside compared to mine. I don't know what her Simply Gilded collab planner will look like this year. She did a collab with Simply Gilded this year and I have not seen it. She's gonna start posting the reveal today on Instagram. So as I'm filming this, I bet she is posting the reveals. The Simply Gilded one was not up when I started filming, but I'll get to take a look at it after. Let's talk about these monthly notebook planners in my collab first, and then we're gonna compare it to Ashley Shelley colors. If you're not interested in the monthly, then everything is time stamped, so you can definitely just go down there to where you wanna look if you're interested in the daily or the weekly. Okay, collab planners in all types, no matter whether it's my collab or Ashley Shelley's monthly planner, comes in a six by nine and a five by eight. The five by eight is seventeen dollars. The six by nine is twenty dollars. They are all eighty pound paper. All her paper is the same, eighty pound, one hundred and twenty GSM. We'll do pen testing and talk more about the paper when we get there, but it is really good quality paper. So you are paying twenty bucks for this monthly or 17 for this monthly. It can do so many things, you guys. If you bought this last year, her co covers have been improved since last year. I'm so excited because we made them thicker, a lot, lot, lot thicker, and it has a texture to it. I don't know if you can see that, but you can probably hear it. It's made where water will like slough off of it, the like coating, but also the texture is really cool. It just, I love the feel of it and the look that it gives to it. The 2024 is kind of like the building number and she did that in silver foiling. And this year I wanted something completely different than my last two years. You know, last year, this has on the plastic cover but you can still get the basic idea. She does sell these plastic covers still for $5 each and they work really well. I have them, I'll show them to you. I personally probably won't put this cover on my planner this year because the covers are so much thicker and mine just stays at home. But last year they were a little bit thinner and I just left on the cover all year even at home. But I like to let the cover shine since mine is just at home. So I'm gonna leave it off. The cover this year is a lot thicker and I just went with something completely different than the last two years. You know, last year was a sunrise inspired design that I chose. And the year before, let me grab it was inspired just from a Destin picture of a sunset. And so just the color gradient in Destin at sunset time. That was our first collab. This was my second collab, the 2023. I feel like they just get better each year because I learn more working with Ashley and she can help me tweak things to be what I'm really wanting since I came in knowing nothing. This year, I wanted kind of like a walking through a city neighborhood look, you know, kind of like brownstones. We kind of veered from the brownstone more to a storefront and she got, you know, an image offline that she could use that she could tweak colors on and add things to and add like a bicycle so that she could tweak around, you know, like a free image. That is what we went with this year. I feel like it's so different, but I feel like what it brings in for me is I wanted something peaceful, calming, and that kind of inspired me to take a walk. There's a couple of people I follow on Instagram. This one photographer, especially in Boston, who takes pictures of all those brownstones there and just the beautiful flowers at different times of year and all the people just out walking to just get where they need to go. And I often dream of just living in a neighborhood like that where I could walk everywhere because I love to walk so much. You guys know that. And I love to take my walks. So I kind of wanted to it to look like a walking neighborhood, but also have peaceful and calm colors in it and just maybe inspire you to get outside and take a walk. It was Ashley's idea to add my name, like a storefront here. And at first I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but my mom and sister were like, I love the way it looks. It doesn't even look as complete without anything there, like being blank. And so we went with it and I am in love with it. And then I love the yellow bike we added. It just looks peaceful. You can imagine what, what this neighborhood would be like. And that would be, you know, like my planner store, <laughs> like my dream um, 
would be this planner store where I get to have every planner right to sell for you from every company, but also with huge tables where there are test planners from every company that everyone gets to just write in and test out the pages and a million pens there to test out on every planner and just sit around and talk and bring your planners too. Wouldn't that planner store be amazing? So that's what I think of that is inside there and the back is exactly matching there. I'm going to show you also the size difference in these in case you're kind of trying to choose. I have always used the five by eight one, always. So I even used this for several years before I did the collab with Ashley. I think for two or three years before I did the collab with Ashley, I was using this and that's why I asked her about doing a collab because I was like, this is one of my very favorite products and I would just love to have monthly colors that flow with the seasons and holidays here in the Northern Hemisphere. And so I asked her if we could collab together and that's how we got started on this. My monthly colors do flow with the seasons here in the Northern Hemisphere and that feel, you know, that you get when the seasons change. Here is your nameplate page. These are stapled books. I have never had a problem with mine coming apart. I have had maybe uh, three people that I can remember tell me or maybe four over the past all of these years that I've used them that theirs has come, had had problems coming off the staples and like they had to take it in to like an office store and have it re-stapled. But I've never had an issue maybe because mine sits in my office just on a little acrylic easel, it sits on this, and that way I see it, it's like my monthly wall calendar, but it is down on my desk, so it's so easy to pull off every minute and flip through and write something new on. All my big events and big things go in here. You can see how crazy some months get, and that's why I started to use friction pens in here, which have worked so well for me, so I can erase them because it just got too crazy with how much whiteout I was having to use, you know, whiteout tape at some point. So even though the friction pen erasing sometimes looks messy, obviously I'm a functional planner and it doesn't bother me, but this is how full my months get. Hence why I am going to use the bigger size this year. I'm gonna use a six by nine. I, I think it'll work great for me. I've never used it, but it fits on my easel and so we're gonna do it. And I always use a little Ollie clip just to clip open to the month I'm on. So let's get into the new one instead of flipping through this year's, although I still really love to flip to this year's. The colors are very similar. There's only a few, there's a few tweaks and changes. So we're gonna talk about that. And all the stickers I've used in here are from my Planner Perfect subscription boxes. If you don't know what Planner Perfect is, I have a whole Planner Perfect playlist and start with the Planner Perfect 101 video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Let's go through here. We're actually gonna go on the bigger version since that's the one that I'm gonna be used. And I think I've added a few stickers to it already. You have your yearly overview page, 2024, 2025. You have your holidays laid out there for 2024. So you have both years in your overview. You have a 2024 planning overview. This is new added this year. This was not in last year's. Oddly enough, last year I actually wrote in my own right after January, a planning overview for like all our appointments, mainly well checks, eye doctors, dentists, things like that. I had written this in. So this is awesome that she added this. I didn't even know that she was going to do this. You don't wanna use it, it's just two pages. It doesn't take up much room and I think it's a great addition. Let's jump into January. All my colors are very similar to last year. They were printed a little lighter this year. So you can see this is the same blue from last year, but it's a little lighter. Now I'm gonna know that with this company that she's printing with now, I'm gonna be able to make it a little darker for next year. But I still love how the colors came out. You have your weekends are bolded so you can see them a little bit better. As you'll notice, the big difference in mine and Ashley Shelley's, if you're not familiar, I'm gonna pull hers out for January too. The big difference is my whole page, everything is saturated in the color of the month. Every single thing. So the lines, the numbers, the holidays, the months, the notes, every printing piece of printing on the page is saturated in the monthly color. Ashley's, is the monthly color is your header, the monthly color is your small lines, and that header line and the heart. Then your month is written in kind of like a really, really dark navy. Maybe it's a black, but I see it as a dark navy. Your monthly numbers are written in a light gray. The weekends are still bolded, 
but the the monthly numbers are in the light gray and this is in your light gray your calendars and your notes over here so that is the main difference but except for we also chose different colors we'll run through all the colors and then I'll run through her colors for you. But I just wanted you to see the big difference. My February and her February, we picked very similar pinks. But how it is different in that my whole page is all the color of the month. And hers, you do have that difference of the light gray going there. And I want you to purchase whichever one you like the best. I really do. Because I already know there's not going to be enough of mine for everyone who wants them because she just orders such a small number of the collab planner. So if you want mine, I hate to ever send out this feeling. I really, really do. But jump on right away at 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning to get it and get what you want. Like if you think you want one of each size, whatever you want for the year, because they won't be there. They've sold out within just a couple of days every single time. Ashley always has bigger numbers of her collab. They come in both sizes and numerous cover choices too. I think she does every cover choice in her monthly planner that she does in her big planners, which I'm gonna show you the covers that I have. So this is just one of them. So hers will be available a lot longer than mine will be. Hers will be around longer. But hers do end up selling out too it's just I think it's one of her most popular products these just aren't made a lot of places where there's a monthly planner but it only has one page of notes in between each month which is so nice because it's not bulky and I don't need any more than that in fact I don't even use most of my in between pages but I actually like having them there because it keeps your month looking clean that way even with 80 pound paper just even the pushing of your pen or whatnot or erasing friction does not come through from the page before if it was just month back to back to back. Having this in between makes your next month stay really clean and pristine and nice, which I like because it's a monthly planner. It takes a lot of wear and tear as you saw on my other one. So January is blue. February is a carnation pink, the same as last year. Green, I kept the same spring green as last year. I do a really a lighter green in March and a darker green in June because that's how the leaves come on the trees. If you pay attention when they first come on in the spring, they're very light green, like so vibrant. It's it's amazing if you look at them. And then they, they turn darker as it gets into the summer. All your holidays I mentioned, it's a typical Sunday start. You have your previous month and your next month and your note section lined. Light lines all throughout the month. And then we go, I'm just gonna kind of skip the page in between, but it has her heart and light gray lines in between. April is the beautiful, uh, what do you call that? I call it Easter egg blue. It just looks very springy to me and all the, you know, bird eggs in the spring and everything. May is a berry. I, I don't know, I should name the color, shouldn't I? But it's a berry color. June is that darker green as we're getting into the summer, the color of the leaves. July is a really nice blue, kind of navy with some royal in it, not too dark navy for our 4th of July Independence Day. August is a berry color, but more lighter. So this one is a little bit darker berry for May, for flowers, for Mother's Day is what I'm thinking. And this one is a more vibrant kind of like hot berry at the end of the summer, I think of it of it because we are definitely still very hot in August but I love that color and then September has to be a mustard yellow I love it for September it's the pencils it's the school buses it goes perfect with apples for September which is where I put my planner perfect sticker there I do end up putting usually a sticker per month and sometimes covering up that little calendar because I don't use those little calendars like all the time. So I'm okay if it's covered up. Then you have October has to be an orange, a pumpkin orange. And look how awesome it looks with Planner Perfect stickers on there. And November is a dark eggplant. It is an eggplant and it also looks beautiful with the Planner Perfect stickers. I love the eggplant. And then the red got changed this year. So it is definitely closer to a true, a good red. Last year, it had too much brown in it when it printed. The problem is it doesn't look the same digitally as when printing. It was a really dark brick red, which still looked okay with Christmas stickers and everything. I mean, I like it with my stickers on there, but I changed it 
for this year. Anything else I changed were not big changes. They were small tweaks like making September a darker yellow so that all the numbers would show up better for you. So just tweaking some things like that. The paper is amazing, you guys. I will show you a pen test in her planner because it is the same paper and I don't want to write in this one <laughs> all over it because I'm going to use it. But oh yeah, I did do a pen test, I think, at the end of this one. So at the end of your planner, you do have four notes pages. You have two extra at the end. I did all my pens. I did dark highlighters, dark saturated air and contour and dual tint markers. And look at that, her 80 pound paper. Nothing is bleeding through. You can almost not even see that page is written on there. Of course, when you hold it up to the light, you can see a little bit more when you pull the book away. But it takes all pen really, really well, you guys. I'm so happy with the collab planners this year. I do feel like it's my best year yet on my collab. And every year, it's just getting a little bit better. I'm so happy with the covers and the thickness, feel of the covers. Ashley Shelley's little emblem is back there. They're just really nice for the price. And you can certainly purchase. Her covers are made exactly to fit the five by eight or the six by nine. And the covers are only $5 each. And you can reuse them the next year. And I did have someone ask me after watching all my info on my Patreon, if these covers fit because they're thicker than last year. So do they fit in the cover? They fit perfectly. Look at that. That is, so if you are putting this in and out of a bag, a purse, or a backpack, taking this with you, I would 100% get the cover because it's just going to protect your book over the year. I would 100% get her clear sleeves, as she calls them. Then you can also stick things in there like stamps or a picture or a little reminder card or a planner perfect tip in. So you can stick things in your plastic sleeve too in the front and back. It's like a little pocket to have with you too. That wraps up the monthly planner, except for I have to show you Ashley Shelley's colors compared to mine, just so you can kind of make a decision on what you wanna get. So let's go through that really quick. And then we're gonna move on to all her planners. Okay, so her January is pink, mine is blue. Her February is pink, ours are very similar for February. March is spring green for me and a salmon color for Ashley. And Ashley's colors match all of her other planners, her weekly, her daily, they all have these same colors per month. April is a light lavender and mine is the robin's egg blue. May is my darker berry. May is kind of a periwinkle, right? It's a purplish blue. That's one of her signature colors from years before. And June is her other signature color, her turquoise. And mine is a spring, not spring green, the darker, darker summer leaf green. July is the kind of navy royal blue. And Ashley's is a brighter, is a brighter real royal blue. I guess mine is closer to navy. It's just not a super dark navy but we both have blue there. August is my lighter berry color, or you might even call it magenta, right? August, I love her August. It's like a teal green. It's really pretty. Then we have September is yellow, and her September is yellow, and you guys, I mean, I don't know if they're the same color, but they look the same color to me, honestly. Wow, they, they look exactly the same. So you can really see a difference in how the page looks being all saturated in color and then having this this is like gray light gray and that is definitely a dark navy blue then we have october october mine is just a kind of a little bit darker orange but they're very similar in shades very similar and then november she has a berry which who knows might actually match it's very close to my August berry. My August berry is lighter. Oh, it might be like the Mayberry. Mayberry? <laughs> that makes me think of the Andy Griffith show. No, it's not quite either one of my berries. This one is more brick red. Okay, berry. All right, so a little more red in that November, October. And mine is more of an eggplant purple for November dark. And hers is more of a berry. And then December, mine is the red. And hers is a... Um, a hot pink to me, but you could call it a pink red, I guess. A, a very pink, a red with a lot of pink in it. 
But there you go. There's the differences if you are trying to decide, okay, that is the monthly planner. You guys know, obviously, I could talk about my monthly planner, how much I love it and use it for like the whole video, but we won't go into it. I will link the Etsy company that makes these cute crochet clips, which I have some rainbows and hearts of. And I truly do just leave it up here in my planner hooked in for like the whole year. I leave one and it stays on my easel and it just brings me happiness. So I will leave that linked down below. All right, let's look at the three covers that she sent me. One of her other planner covers is this one, is this, but with a like uh, celestial sun, moon, star design going down the middle in rose gold. This one is so stunning on her planner. I just saw a picture of it on her reveal on Instagram. I feel like that cover on her planner is gonna sell out first for sure. But it's also on her budget notebook and her notebook bestie, just a notebook. So if you just want that beautiful cover and you don't need a planner, you could just buy the notebook bestie. It's just lined with hearts. It is, um, how much is this one? $8, $8 for this little notebook. It's beautiful. So that is an option. I love the rose gold with that. I do have a video where I go through the budget notebook more in depth. I'll just show you the basic layout here, but I will also link that video down below if you're interested in the budget notebook. This is her neutral cover. You know what? Let me grab this. I wrote down of the one she's revealed on Instagram before I went to film this. So we have a rainbow floral. That is this beauty. It's her floral that Ashley designs with silver and silver coil and silver 2024 and rainbow colored flowers. That's her rainbow floral. Her neutral sti stripe for the neutral gals and professional look needed, 2024 in silver. And I love how her color carries over onto her inside cover because you know, guys know when a planner is folded over all the time, that is what you see the most. And I love her rounded corners. She went to rounded corners last year. The inside of this design is turquoise blue. So that is what you see with your colorful monthly tabs there. Then she has a beautiful lavender dot. Look at that with like a holographic all over on there. You can see the beautiful holographic. You get to see a rainbow every day in there and a silver coil. That one is beautiful. And then I don't have the celestial sky, but like I said, it is this design on the front, but with like a sun, moon, stars, celestial design going down it in rose gold. I think the rose gold with all those colors and she just got the colors just right is stunning. Okay, we are gonna go through the new, which one is the, yep, this is the new vertical. We're gonna go through the new vertical first because I think that's the one. Everybody wants to see the new layout. Rounded corners. Her planners are not too heavy, you can see. I love that, even with 80 pound paper. They don't feel heavy, they feel very lightweight. You get a free sticker sheet of her colors that coordinate with her tabs. Look how cute those are. Flags, I love the little heart paper clips. Some hearts, stars, yay. It's just very usable, functional, and decorative stickers. You get with every planner, you get that in your pocket. You also get a ruler with every planner that clips in and out easily. It actually has ruler markings. It says today, and it has the little Ashley Shelley emblem at the bottom that comes with every planner. She's not doing the zipper bags this year that she's done in the past because she couldn't get them just right this year. With the company, she's gonna brainstorm for next year. This weekly planner and her horizontal weekly planner vertical or horizontal is $49. Her daily is $59. Your name plate page, they are all six by nine planners with hard covers. You have a note from Ashley about what's inside and one of the special features that makes her planner different. She talks about that, her creative monthly spread. We'll talk about that when we get to it. You have a 2024 inspiration board, write, draw, and tape, all the inspiration here for the year ahead. I can tell you this, Ashley's planners just feel very happy, fun, joyful, peaceful, like she's really trying to give you that vibe. I know that that's what Ashley goes for in her life from what she has shared on Instagram and she radiates that through her planners. You have important contacts. 
favorite meal ideas. So when you have favorite meals, you can jot them down and like just go pick from your list of favorites, right? You have the 2024 planning overview, the same that's in the monthly planner. This is also the same 80 pound paper that's in the monthly planner. And I didn't talk about the feel of the paper when I did the pen test. It is, it has some tooth to it. It has more tooth than last year's to it. So no, it's not like Erin Condren's tooth, but it's not like an extra smooth paper at all. It has some tooth to it and it feels really nice. So I think those of you who like a more toothy paper are gonna like it better than like the monthly planner last year was a little bit smoother. Her paper was a little bit smoother. All her paper's the same, except for her tabbed pages are thicker. They are like cardstock. But they are the same good, you know, good for writing on, but gives your tab page that thickness. Your tab opens right to your monthly layout. You have the yearly overview, the 2024 holidays, and then you go straight into your monthly layouts. Your monthly layout in your planner looks exactly like her monthly notebook planner. If you are getting the six by nine notebook planner, I'm just grabbing mine because I don't have a six by nine of hers, but it's exactly her monthly notebook planner printed same color same everything the page size is exactly the same something else to point out if you're not sure which one to get there's actually the same number of lines okay the same number of lines I'll try to turn to the same month are on each month here for the monthly notebook planner they are just made smaller so you have the exact same number of lines there's one two three four five six seven if you count the bottom line so you have, you can just see you have a bigger space to write. So it's not adding in more lines. It's just giving you more space there amped up. So if you have bigger handwriting or, you know, just being able to fit even more on one line, it is a tiny bit longer. So that is, that is your difference. And the six by nine is that exact page size right in here. So you've just seen all this in her monthly planner. Then you go into her monthly creative spread. This is really different than any other planner. It is her kind of her tag, create your best days. That is Ashley Shelley's tagline and her little hearts. And so then you go into the month of January. The January color is brought into this page. And here are the different things that are on your monthly creative spread. What are five things you are grateful for right now? Five lines. What is your biggest stressor right now? A box. What action can you take to help relieve the stress? What creates happiness in your life that you want to do more of this month? And six ovals. What are you going to say no to this month? Self-care activity for the month. Living out your values creates meaning in your life. Which five values will you focus on this month? Three big monthly goals. Those could be, you know, project goals or hitting habits every day. You know, your self-care activities could be like hitting habits every day. It could be like, you know, taking a walk five times a week. Your word or mantra of the month. So you can choose a word or mantra every month. That is repeated on your weekly pages. I will show you. But then you have two lined notes pages. Her lines are amply spaced. If you're someone who likes to write bigger, I think you will like the spacing on that. Then you go into her weekly layout. Let's look at one I haven't written on yet. You have your monthly word or mantra to go right up there. You could write something else here too. Then you have her new vertical layout. You guys, these boxes are the exact same width as the Erin Condren boxes. They are one and a half inches. So they will fit all your standard sticker kits. Ashley wanted to make sure to do that. Now her page is smaller than Erin Condren, right? Because hers is six by nine. Erin Condren's is seven by nine. So that is why you have Saturday and Sunday stacked here and you don't have a notes section either. I'm just trying to let you get a scope of that because many people would be like, wait, how can this box be as wide as the Erin Condren box? And that's how on a smaller page, Saturday and Sunday stacked and no, you know, weekly list section there. But I really like how she's designed this as her first year with a vertical. You have a big section for a to-do list up top. Then you have a section with a header that's smaller and a small box with a header at the bottom with no lines. And she has light lines. This is all light gray throughout. You can see her script for the day of the week and very clear month and date there. Every Sunday she has a little box that says check in with your creative spread to remind you every Sunday as you're planning to go back to your creative spread 
and to think about, you know, what do you want to focus on this week? What do you want to incorporate this week? What goals are you working on? What self-care activities? So there's a reminder to check in with that every Sunday, but it's very tiny there. Let's look at the week that I filled out and the pen test. I would just probably put my to-dos going down here for the day. Or I might put, if I have any meetings or anywhere I have to be, I would definitely put those up top and probably highlight them. I did my pen test here and I gave you some ideas of how you could use these boxes down here. Like this would probably be my channel work for the day to like separate it from just everything else in my life. Like what is the big thing I need to get done that day for my channel? And then over here, you could do meals. You could definitely do meals. You could do your teenager's work schedule. You could do the temperatures right here, which I was just making up January temperatures that I'm hoping for. There are a lot of ideas you could use that for. That could also be like your workout for the day or if you did your walk or your yoga check-in. A really easy way, she also gives you those boxes on the weekend and just you have a shorter to-do list section and not your second box. So that is her new horizontal sorry, vertical layout and your monthly color always comes through in the top of the page there with your monthly word and your little heart on the left hand side. Look how beautiful that looks. If there is a holiday, as you see, like Martin Luther King Jr. Day, it is noted up there above the date. Let's go through and look at each color. And when your month ends, you just go straight into your next month, your monthly layout and then your monthly creative spread. I do love how Ashley has a color per month and it's brought into so many places throughout the month. Here is her February color. I'm just gonna show you what each monthly color looks like. And you have those two notes pages at the beginning of each month too. Salmon for March. April is the lavender. May is our periwinkle. June is the turquoise. July is the blue, royal blue. August is that pretty green teal. That's a really pretty green. September is a golden yellow, mustard yellow as I like to call it. I love that color for September. October is an orange. November is berry purplish. <laughs> Very pretty for November. And December is your red, a pinkish red in my opinion. But it does look red to me under the light. Okay, those are your monthly colors. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It looks like lined pages at the back. And then that is the end of your planner. All right, let's go to the horizontal weekly and then we will go to the daily. The sticker sheet just fell out of here on the ground, but you do have that pocket. It is coated. It's a nice pocket in there. The same ruler. Okay, you get everything the same. I just want to show you the horizontal layout. In your horizontal layout, I did put the numbers in here. You have room for your monthly word up there. You have Monday through Wednesday on the left. You have Thursday through Sunday on the right. Each day is equal spaced. Okay, in the horizontal, and you have room for a weekly list up here or weekly gratitudes or weekly journaling, whatever you want up here at the start of your week to be looking at and guiding you. And then you have nine time slots. So as you'll see, there's already the double dots there for you to write in times for appointments. You have nine time slots there. If you don't have that many appointments or places to be, those could be for time blocking your day, just being able to time block out where you wanna be spending your time. These are your task tick off boxes. You have seven of them. You have a blank space down here, it takes up the space of two lines that could be for your workout, your dinner, a gratitude for the day, something good that happened, the weather, the temperature there for the day. So there is that space there. If you're, there's a holiday, it's noted here to the right of the to-do list. And you have gray lines, gray all throughout, except for your monthly color up here. Sunday, you do have check-in with your creative spread as one of your to-dos there. And I'm just gonna flip through a few months and just show you how the color looks on the horizontal. We're not gonna flip through all of them because you've seen the monthly colors, but you can kind of see how it stands out and looks in the horizontal. So that is your horizontal. This has been Ashley Shelley's 
weekly planner for years. So the vertical is brand new this year if you're new to her. And the daily was brand new last year. So we're gonna go into the daily now. I do wanna show you the size difference. Here is her daily and her weekly size difference. I will try to remember to weigh these and put it on the screen here, the different weights. Even her daily doesn't feel as heavy or as overly chunky as some other dailies. But her weekly especially feels very lightweight and manageable for the week. So there's the differences in the coil size and in the book size in your daily and your weekly. Ah, now we're now we're in there. Now we're in there, guys. Let's look at the daily. This one, so many people were excited about last year. I'm sure there's gonna be those same the same excitement this year for those repeats who loved their daily. I love how the inside is the lavender continuing. Since I always say when your planner is folded over, that is the color that you see a lot. Everything up front is the exact same. You get the same things up front as you get in all her other weekly planners that we went through. The monthlies are all the same. The monthly creative spread is the same in every single one of her planners. And then you go into the daily pages. This is her daily page layout. You have the day lined out up top. You have the monthly color brought into each daily page with the little pink heart. That is the only color on the daily page is the little pink heart. But that monthly color is brought in there. You have 12 to-do list tick off boxes, which are really amply spaced lines. And then you have 19 schedule boxes for time slots there. So once again, you can use that for time blocking your day if you like to look at your tasks and write out you know, what you expect to be doing at different times. Then you have three boxes down here with a header that you could use for anything and everything, you guys. And I remember Ashley saying, and people showing sticker kits fit these boxes. So that's something she was very intentional about designing too. But this could be you know, your weather, your workout, your gratitude. It could be your teenager's work schedule, dinner, or it could be lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner. It could be your top three of the day. So there's just, there's a lot of ways you could use that. You have header room at the top if you wanted to write the weather up here every day. If you have a holiday, it's noted right here at the top right of your day. And then you have a good little note section at the bottom. I always like having a note section in a daily planner because I always find need two scribble notes from a phone call or something I'm working on or just even thinking about the next day, like reminders that I wanna think about for my next day. I love that there's a note space, it is lying down there. Now Saturday and Sunday, share a page. Oh, and something really important to mention, the daily has lighter weight paper. I completely forgot to double check on that, but I believe the daily is 70 pound paper. I will double check and put that up here. It's the same as last year because a daily is so thick, she could not fit in 80 pound paper in here and make it be able to fit on this coil without being too big and too heavy. We will do a separate pen test in here because the paper is different. Saturday and Sunday are both on one page. You have a to-do list with six boxes. Then you have a schedule with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bo nine slots for a schedule and your three boxes. So you're just making your to-do list shorter, your schedule shorter, and no note section on your weekend days. You have a check-in with your creative spread there, and you do have double hearts for the weekend, because one for each day. You know, usually there's just one on each day there. Let's do our pen test. All right, here's our pen test on her daily paper. All those dark, saturated markers and pens, Paper Mate flares, Erin Condren dual tip markers, Sharpie S gels, highlighters all over the page and this is what it looks like no bleed through at all and you can barely tell it's written on yes you can feel that it's not as thick as her weekly planner because it's not it's not 80 pound paper it is good paper it feels the same like you still have a little tooth to it it's not an extra slick paper there is no bleed through and you can barely tell it's been written on all right guys i'm coming in here after the fact and it's getting dark outside but I, when editing, could not find where I showed you the back of the pen test in the vertical on the 80 pound paper. I talked about showing it to you when I was talking about how I scheduled out this page for myself and then I don't think I ever turned it over. I combed through there and I didn't find a place where I did. 
So let's look at it just to make sure and we can have both pen tests in here at the same place in the video with the daily. You can see the 80 pound paper with all those pens. You cannot see a thing. There is absolutely no ghosting, absolutely no bleed through, but really there is no ghosting. This paper is substantial, 80 pounds, not extra smooth. It has a little bit of tooth to it, not as much tooth as like, so let's say Erin Condren, but it has it has some tooth to it. When you get to the end of each month, you just, you flip, these are the extra thick, same as her other weeklies. And then you go through your months that way. When you get to the end of the daily planner, you just, you end it out. That's it, on Tuesday, December 31st. There are no extra pages at the end. Look at those cute little red hearts in December. Okay, that definitely looks red to me now in this light. So that is your daily planner from Ashley Shelley. All right, last up is she is going to sell, you know, your bright sticker sheet comes in your planner, comes with your planner to match the monthly tabs. But some people are muted people and they want a more muted sticker. And she is going to sell these muted ones too. And at three sheets for $7.50 each. And I believe you can also buy more of these at three sheets at $7.50 each if you love them. So those are the stickers Ashley will have out. Okay, we already went through the Bestie lined notebook for $8. It's just a really cute lined notebook with 80 pound paper. Same stapled setup as the monthly notebook planner. The cover is stunning. Her budget notebook, like I said, is such a simple system. If you are someone who is just starting out tracking your budget, or you have a child who you want them to learn how to do this, or someone in high school or college, I feel like this is a really easy system to learn from. There's some initial things up front, but what it is basically is you have the amount of money that you have, you have bills and expenses, you have a due date, and then you have paid. And so you are totaling that up kind of like a checkbook register your total income and you have room for notes and use this area for any thoughts, goals, or extra planning you have this financial period. And I go through this in great detail in one of my other videos. So since this video is already so long, I'm going to link that video down below. But this is such, I can't stress enough. I've reviewed a lot of budget planners and honestly, for me, I just think simple for me for how my brain works simple is the best and if this can cover everything and especially someone who's first learning you have a debt repayment plan at the back here for several debt sorts also you have some dot grid note pages at the end you have login and passwords and some lined note pages at the end you have a debt overview page but the bulk of the book are these um, monthly pages for you to just keep track of your expenses and the due date and are they paid? Bills and expenses. So basically, how much are you spending every month? You know, what is your checking account dwindling down to? And how much income did you bring in that month? And then your few setup pages in the beginning are your all bills list, your annual bills list, and your savings right here. And then you have a financial goals page, a purchase wish list, and then you go right into those just tracking your spending pages. So if you want more info on this, that video will be linked down below. She also sells these with a little twin loop binding on it. So if you'd rather have a budget notebook that you can fold back on, that is an option too. All right, guys, thanks for staying with me for this longer video. It is one of the most exciting launches of the year for me personally because my collab planner is in it. I mean, I have to say, it's the most exciting launch for me, you guys. I know I say that about a couple of different companies, but really, I don't get to do anything else this personal. I get to design something with Ashley that I actually use all year long. It is pretty special to me. Happy launch to Ashley. I think she's done an amazing job on all her designs this year. Ashley is a one-woman show wearing all the hats in her company, and I think she does a spectacular job. She takes such care in all of her packaging. She does it by hand in her very own home. It comes straight from her to you. Every sticker that is stuck on that packaging is stuck on by Ashley. And you can truly feel how much care and love she has in, for all the design and everything she does for her company, everything that goes into it. 
If you are ordering a monthly collab planner or any monthly planner, even if it's not the collab one, let me know how you use it. Like, is it just for your main appointments and big things like me? Or do you use any on the side? Like I use one for our Invisalign tracking for my son, you know, and one for my countdown tracking for my other son coming home. If you use any of her monthly planners, I'd love to hear how you use them. If you are making a purchase, I would so appreciate if you clicked through my affiliate link. Her launch is tomorrow morning. September 1st, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves. So you can take care of others and have a beautiful first of September week. I'm so excited to be rolling into September, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.